welcome back in this uh, class in this lesson we discuss uh, mathematical model of one way classified data of analysis of variance in the analysis of variance one way classification we discuss uh, mathematical model what is mathematical model for one way classified data first of all first of all we have discussed the variable y x a what is meant by y x a y x a is nothing but uh, it is an yield in general or the measurement or the observation now we take in one way classified data the observation which is obtained from the jth experimental unit from the jth experimental unit by applying the i treatment by applying the i treatment which means uh, i is equal to 1 to and so on k and j is equal to 1 to and so on n i this is what the uh, the values of i and j I, I is equal to 1 to k that is k treatments we have j is equal to 1 to and so on n i that is uh, uh, n i experimental units uh, which are there in the i class n1 experimental units in first class n2 experimental units in the second class etc that is uh, number of treatments we have, we have applied in that particular uh, first treatment how many number of times we have applied for how many experimental units we have applied so that uh, y is a is nothing but simply it is a yield or it is a measurement which is drawn for example 100 kilos of rice uh, which is obtained from the one particular experimental unit so therefore y is a is nothing but the measurement or observation simply which is obtained from the j experimental unit that is first one second one and so on and ninth one j experimental unit by applying the i is treatment if i is equal to 1 this is n1 n1 from n1 experimental units n1 observations you will get similarly for that we have clearly explained in the table so you refer the table you can uh, easily identify you can easily get it right so therefore yij is the yield that since uh, the variation of two sources there are two sources of variation variation is obtained from two sources can be identified can can be obtained from two sources there are two sources one source number one chance cause of variation two assembly cause of variation so if we consider assembly cause of variation which are the causes of variation which can be controlled con due to the controlled factors because due to the treatments which are because of the due to the treatments uh, which are due to the treatments and whereas chance cause of variation which are due to the uh, error the uncontrolled factors due to uncontrolled factors the variation now i divide the mathematical model i i uh, i have i consider the linear mathematical model for y is a in two particular uh, factors that is in two particular uh, uh, effects one mu i it is because of it is because of the i the treatment mu i plus epsilon i z it is because of the uh, error effect effect due to the chance uncontrolled factors the variation observed due to uncontrolled factors i simply specify here uh, chance cause of variation the first one is mu i second one is epsilon i z mu i is effect due to the i the treatment epsilon i z error effect due to the chance I have considered these two particular factors. I also consider uh, because of the variation is inherent. In, it is inherent uh, in any particular uh, um, process, uh, in any particular conduction of experiment. If you conduct any kind of experiment, if you do any process, uh, definitely it's, uh, the variation is some particular general variation. The variation is inherent in the process. Uh, if you conduct any kind, any kind of experiment, then there is some kind of vari general variation will, uh, will, will be present in the process, will be present in, in the conduct in, in conduction of any kind of experiment. So such variation is also going to be uh, included instead of, that is apart from the effect due to the I treatment, apart from the some effect of the error effect due to the chance, we have another kind of variation which is also called uh, general mean effect. In general, we come some effect, some uh, 
uh, uh, affect uh, uh, some source of variation which is going to be affected to the general uh, um, uh, aspect of that particular problem. In any kind of process of the any kind of the process uh, in any uh, per, uh, any context of any kind of uh, experiment, uh, definitely some kind of general variation will be present in that process. Uh, and I'm also including mathematically by adding and subtracting. I'm considering mu in the general mean effect, uh, which is uh, affected uh, to any particular process. Uh, in general, it is going to be creep and in general, it creeps in any particular process. That's what I am considering new. And uh, uh, I am adding and subtracting here mathematically because uh, to adjust the factor here, uh, I am considering I am adding here and subtracting here. So, therefore, I am calling this particular variation. You see here, I am converting in meaningful and meaningful manner. I am converting this particular new i into another particular factor. You observe here, I am considering alpha i plus this is epsilon i say. Then what is this alpha i? But I will tell you an example so that it will be very clear to you. I explained in the uh, table of one way classified data uh, between the classes. The treatment effects which are going to be observed between the classes from one class to another class. For example, for class 1. Uh, this is this is the yield 120 kilos, class 2 140 kilos, but class 3 the average yield is uh, 150 kilos like this. The we will have a general mean effect. General mean effect, which means uh, uh, for example, you consider this is mu 1, this is mu 2, this is mu 3, and this is the general one, it's mu. For example, if you, this is some particular value here 135. This is one such particular one particular value. Which, is, which represents the as a whole. For entire uh, uh, data, this represents uh, some particular uh, uh, the variation due, due to this particular affect. Uh, the entire data is going to be affected. The entire the variation in the data is going to be affected. Right? So, therefore, if you compare these two, mu1 to mu2, how to compare uh, various treatment effects? If you compare with mu1 and mu2, what about mu3? If you compare mu3 and mu2, what about mu1? So therefore, if you want to compare all the treatment effects, it is meaningful only if you compare with the overall mean, overall effect. What is the general effect? What is the general uh, effect of uh, uh, source of variation? So for, for uh, that particular value, you have to compare uh, with remaining all the factors. So therefore, uh, whatever the we have specified very clearly that uh, uh, whatever the between classes uh, or the variation is going to be observed due to the treatment effects. But whereas those treatment effects are going to be compared with the mean, the overall mean, the general mean, uh, then only it is going to be a meaningful one. So that is uh, mu1 minus mu. I am calculating mu1 minus mu and mu2 minus mu and mu3 minus mu and so on. Now, this comparison, compar deviation, that is the in statistics, uh, what we use to calculate the variance, uh, we calculate first deviation. So, that is the reason why the effect of height treatment is going to be compared with the general mean effect uh, and it is going to be considered, now it is going to be compared. So, that is the reason why we are considering mu1 minus mu, mu2 minus mu, mu3 minus mu instead of mu. Mu i it is the in, the in the mathematical model, but instead of mu i, we are considering alpha i. Because of this reason, it is more meaningful. So, therefore, alpha i is one such effect of the due to the treatment, due to the height effect, effect due to the height treatment. It, now, it is going to be compared, it is compared with the general mean effect. Hence, it is so meaningful rather than the previous one, if you consider mu i. So therefore, now we consider in the mathematical model, I uh, hope you understand, in the mathematical model, we consider three particular terminology, which is one, mu, general mean effect, general mean effect, and two, alpha i is effect due to the i treatment, effect due to i treatment, and uh, Epsilon I say, 
It is error effect due to chance. Error effect due to chance. And which follows normal distribution with mean 0 and variance sigma square e. Now you observe here the mathematical model why I say it is mu plus alpha i plus epsilon i say where mu is general mean effect, alpha i is effect due to i treatment and epsilon i. Epsilon i say error effect due to chance which follows epsilon i say follows normal distribution with mean 0 and variance sigma square e. Sigma square e is error variance, it is known as error variance, right? So this is the mathematical model. But in which uh, I tell you one particular some formulas and one result uh, and show that uh, uh, it, it is useful in the calculation of statistical analysis of the model. Right? So therefore, uh, uh, I conclude here this is y is equal to mu plus uh, the mathematical model now y is equal to mu plus alpha i plus epsilon i say where mu is general mean effect, alpha i effect due to the height treatment, epsilon i say effect due to the chance. And epsilon i follows and 0 sigma square e. This is mathematical model, and I give you some particular formulas and then and one particular result. Hope you, you, you will be this will be useful in the purpose of the calculation of statistical analysis of the model. Right? So here I specify mu i is a is the uh, whatever to calculate uh, gender mean effect mu, uh, it is required mu i say, like why i say this mu i say. Right, uh, and uh, I give you the formula of mu i, it is also may be denoted. You can write as mu i dot, okay. You can represent as mu i dot, like right, y bar i dot, right. Mu i is equal to be 1 by n i summation j is equal to 1 to n i by uh, mu i is a, it is not by i say, it is mu i is a. Mu i formula is 1 by n i summation j is equal to 1 by n i mu i is a. And the formula of mu is equal to 1 by capital N, summation i is equal to 1 to k, and summation j is equal to 1 to n i, mu i z. So, with this formula, this is the formula of mu, capital mu, mu, 1 by capital N, where capital N is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to k n i. This is the uh, base of the one way classification. So mu is equal to 1 by capital N, summation i is equal to 1 to k, summation j is equal to 1 to n i, mu i is a. This always formula also I am converting in terms of the mu i. You see you represent this, you see this value, summation j is equal to 1 to n i, mu i is a is equal to mu i. Multiply, if you take this particular n i left hand side, n i into mu i is equal to this, this particular value. Summation n i mu i is equal to summation j is equal to 1 to n i mu i is a. So here we have summation j is equal to 1 by n i mu i z. I am representing as I am taking some 1 by capital N summation i is equal to 1 to k n i into mu i. N i into mu i. Okay. With this, this is these are the two particular formulas I want to specify. I want to explain you. One mu i is equal to this, and the one n i into mu i is equal to summation j is equal to 1 by n mu i z. I write here n i into mu i is equal to summation j is equal to 1 to n i uh, mu i z. This is the formula. This is what I have, I have substituted here in the formula of mu. 1 by capital N summation is equal to 1 to k n i mu i. It is summation j is equal to 1 to n i mu i z is equal to n i mu i. With this, uh, I calculate one particular result. Summation i is equal to 1 to k n i into alpha i is equal to 0, which is uh, uh, we have to prove this. For this, uh, what I am considering, summation i is equal to 1 to k n i into alpha i is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to k n i into what is alpha i? Mu i minus mu. You see the result? Summation n i alpha i, I is equal to 1 to k is we have to prove it 0. Summation i is equal to 1 to k n i into alpha i is mu i minus mu. Take the summation. Summation i is equal to 1 to k n i into mu i minus summation i is equal to 1 to k n i into mu. Now we see summation i is equal to 1 to k n i into mu i. I have multiplied and take summation n i into mu, take summation. Now we see what is summation i is equal to 1 to k n i into mu i. Summation i is equal to 1 to k n i into mu i is, if you take n left hand side, capital N into mu. So it is 
capital M into mu. Do you understand this? Summation i is equal to 1 to k m i into mu i multiplied by 1 by m is equal to mu. So therefore m into mu is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to k m i mu i. Hope okay, you understand. m into mu is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to k m i into mu i. This is the result I have taken here. You understand this? Now, what is summation ni into mu? Mu is a constant, I am taking the outside. Mu multiplied by summation i is equal to 1 to k ni ni. Mu I have taken outside because uh, it, is, uh, it is a constant that does not depend on summation i. I have taken outside. What is summation ni? i is equal to 1 to k small ni capital N. So therefore it is equal to n into mu minus mu into n. It is 0. So therefore summation i is equal to 1 to k, n i alpha is equal to 0. So this is the result. If you please uh, uh, understand the result and uh, keep in your mind, uh, which will be useful in the statistical analysis of the model of one-way classification. Hope you understand the mathematical model.